Welcome to PU with Mr Duncan. Unfortunately, it will be the last time, but hopefully you're able to go back through some of the old videos if you fancy doing some more exercises with me. And if you are in school, hopefully you'll get to do some PE with me. I'll be able to teach you loads of different things and get you all active and healthy. To start off today, I just want everyone just to get to bouncing on their feet. Start moving their bodies around. Let's get our timer going. Lovely, start to move those arms, start to wake that body up. For as this is the last time we're going to be doing this, if your parents or carers are sat down on that sofa or on a chair or not active with you at the moment, get them to join in. As I always believe, when you're able to work out with somebody else, it just makes the session go by a lot quicker and you're happier too. Lovely, start to rotate those arms. Lovely. Can we do some heel flicks? Lovely, we're going to stretch from head to toe. So starting off with, we're going to stretch out our neck. So we're going to slowly turn it to the left, back to the middle, over to the right, back to the middle, slowly looking up, back down, to the floor, lovely, and give your neck a slow roll, lovely, good. Next is going to be our shoulders, so we started off with them while we are bouncing, these are we just going to do shoulder rolls, we're just going to roll our shoulder forwards, and we're going to roll our shoulder backwards. Lovely, onto our hips. So we're just going to roll our hips. Lovely, and the other way. Beautiful, then we are going to stretch out our thighs. So we're going to lift up one of our legs. We're going to bring both of our knees together and we're going to hold it still. If you're wobbling, look at something still like the floor or hold on to a friend. Change legs. Always helps to look at the floor. Lovely. Next we're going to stretch out our groin. So we're going to open the gate by lifting our leg up, out and down. If you do it perfectly, you should get your leg to go at a right angle. What well, it should look like one anyway. Beautiful. Next is going to be stretching out our hamstrings. So one of my favourite stretches is switch it up, crossing your legs over. Lovely. Then, without touching your legs, you're slowly just going to reach down and you're going to keep on reaching until you cannot go anymore. Once you start to feel it get tight at the back of your legs, that's your stopping point. And you're going to keep on going down. We're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly release. Lovely. The last one we're going to do is going to be our calf stretch and they are called rock and rolls. So, you're going to push up onto your toes, then you're going to fall back onto your heels. If you fall back too much, you're going to start to wobble. So try to push up nice and gently, then slowly come back down onto your heels, then push up, slowly back onto your heels, push up, back onto your heels, push up, Onto your heels, push up. Onto your heels, push up. Lovely, shake out your legs. The last one we're going to do is we're just going to rotate our ankle. So we're going to place our toe into the floor. Then we're slowly going to roll that ankle. Nice and gentle. And the other foot. Lovely. 
Lovely. Shake it all out. Right. Our four exercises we're going to do today. The first one is going to be one of my favourite things to start our bodies off is our punches and kicks. This can be done in two different ways. You can either choose to stand and follow my sequence of right, left, right, left, kick, and then kick, or you can do the baby crying, which is very, very similar. You just lie on your back, you have your legs and your hands in the air, and you continuously punch. This one is slightly harder, so if you really want to give yourself a challenge, that's the first activity we're going to do. The second activity we're going to do is our crisscross squats. So very simply, we're going to start shoulders width apart, we're going to cross our legs over, we're going to cross our legs back, and then we're slowly going to go down, keeping our back as straight as possible. That's our second activity. Our third activity, you're going to need a chair, or you can use a sofa, so make sure you're not too far away. And we're going to do our tricep dips. We're going to make sure our arms are not too far apart on whatever we're resting on. We're going to have our legs at a right angle again. We're going to have our back as straight as we possibly can. And we're slowly going to go down as far as we possibly can before extending upwards. So slowly down, and you're going to power upwards. Now if you don't have a chair, now is the time to tell any parents or carers at home to go and grab your chair. If you're in school, I'm sure you have a chair close by, so get it ready. The fourth activity we're going to do is our mountain climbers. So, you're going to place your hands on the floor. Then you're going to start to drive your knees into your stomach. This can be done on it in a running motion, or you can go one leg at a time. It's completely up to you. Take it at your own pace. That's the most important thing you need to do when working out. So those are our four activities. Before we get going, I would like to give a huge, a massive shout out to all of the teachers, not only in Shakespeare Primary School, but across the whole of the world for keeping schools going in such a troublesome time. But not only keeping the schools going, but keeping your education going to the best of their ability. So can we give them a huge round of applause? Because without them, life would be just that little bit harder. Right, now we've got that out of the way. We are going to start off with our punches. Are we ready? Let's go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick, keep going. Mm -hmm. And rest. Woo! Love it. As I say all the time, try not to sit down or stop your body from moving. Even if it's just walking backwards and forwards, it keeps that heart beating. It stops your bodies from resting and you're ready to go. The next activity is going to be our crisscross squats. Are we ready? Five seconds to go. Two, one, let's go. Crisscross squat. Really get your weight to go nice and low before springing up. Five seconds to go. And the rest. Woo! I hope you're all feeling amazing today. I hope you're all waiting or buzzing. I can't wait to get back into school. Get your learning up and running again. Mm -hmm. Please let me know how you're getting along at home. Don't forget you can send your questions in to your teachers so they can let me know how you're getting along with my questions. This week will be the last time you'll be able to answer my questions. So I really want you to try your very best. The first question is a sciencey question. And my question is, 
What is the average temperature of the human body? Quite a tricky one. I've got three options for you. The first option is A, minus seven degrees. So really, really chilly. B, seven degrees. So a little bit warmer. Or C, 37 degrees. I'll ask that to you one more time. What is the average temperature of the human body? Is it A, minus seven degrees, B, seven degrees, or C, 37 degrees? Have a think. It's really tricky, but when you think about it, there's only really two options it could be. So have a think and let me know. Right, we're moving on to our tricep dips. So have that chair ready, and let's get going. Nice and low, for powering up. For this, when you're going low, take your time before accelerating up. If you're going too fast, you're not really engaging your muscles. Try not to have your arms too far apart. Keep going into our last five seconds. And rest. Good job. By all means, if there are any activities that you need additional time doing, by all means do so. So if you want to extend and do 35, 40 seconds, or even 45 seconds, by all means, please let me know. And get it going. Right, we can rest the chair to one side. Make sure you're getting a drink of water ready. We're moving on to our mountain climbers. Let's get going. Now really power those knees forward. Into your stomach. Keep going, we're halfway through. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Right. Also, let me know out of all my activities, which is your favourite activity to do. Also, let me know which activities do you find tricky. Let me know if there are any activities that you would like for me to do, possibly in the later future. I would love to be able to, sometime soon, be able to do an activity with everybody in this school. Right, we're moving on to our second question of the week. And the second question is, which season are the nights much longer than the days? I'll say that one more time for you. In which season are the nights much longer than the days? Is it A, summer, B, winter, or C, spring? Let me know. When you think about it again, it sounds really tricky, but I'm sure you will know the answers to it. One more time for you. In which season are the nights much longer than the days? Is it A, summer, B, winter, or C, spring? Get your answers in and let me know. Right, we shall be moving back on to our punches and kicks. I'm going to do the kind baby for this one, so let's get going. You can have your legs in so many different positions. You can have your legs kicking out in front of you, up above your head. There are multiple different ways. You can even do it as if you're riding a bike with your legs. As long as they're continuously moving, whilst your arms are moving, that's the most important thing. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Right, we're, we're over half the way through by now, so keep it going. Don't sit down if that's you. Stand back up, keep those legs moving. Keep those arms moving. We're moving on to our crisscross dips next. Really get yourself nice and low. Don't have your legs too close or too wide as you'll make it really, really hard or too easy. Shoulders width apart is what we're looking for. Crisscross squat. 
crisscross squat. Last ten. Last five. And rest. Oof. Especially when we're working out your legs, it's very important that you don't sit down or even rest on anything. Keep those legs moving. It stops your legs getting any form of fatigue. And when you get fatigue, it can make it a lot harder to continuously work. Hopefully you all have your hearts beating nice and fast, you're sweating a little bit, but you're happy. That's the most important thing. Right, moving on to my final question of today. And it should be a question, once again, we all should know. But I throw a little of a curveball in there, just to make it just that little bit harder. So, which sport uses a net, a racket, and a shuttlecock. I'll ask that to you one more time. Which sport uses a net, a racket, and a shuttlecock? Is it A, tennis? Is it B, football? Is it C, badminton? I'll ask that to you for the very last time. Which sport uses a net, a racket, and a shuttlecock. Is it A, tennis, B, football, or C, badminton? If you know the answer, well done. I'm sure you all do already. I'm just getting those brains active and ready. Right, we are moving on to our tricep dips. Let's get going again. We start a little bit later, so we're gonna go just a little bit more, maybe five or so seconds more. Keep going. That would be 20 seconds in, 15 seconds in, last 10 seconds, keep going, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Good job. Hopefully you're keeping active. Also, let me know what are you doing whilst you've been at home? Are there any special activities you're doing? Any projects that you're currently working on? I would love to know. Our final activity of today is our mountain climbers. Are we ready? Let's get going. Really drive those knees into your stomach and power away. Try and get a rhythm going. It makes it a lot easier to keep your feet going. Remember, if you can't run, you can do single legs. And really get those legs going. If you can, start that running. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. That was our last session of PE with Mr. Duncan. I hope you all were working super hard I hope you all had a beautiful, lovely, exceptional time with me. I can't wait to see you all very, very soon. Before I get off, two things to do. The first thing that I need to do is get my answers. So, the first answer to the first question was, or the question itself was, what is the average temperature of the human body? Now, I hope you all were having to think about it. Minus seven was A, B was seven, and C was 37. A drum roll. On our left, the answer was 37 C. So well done if you were able to work that out. Seven degrees is still very, very cool for the body. Minus seven degrees, it's super, super cold, and our bodies aren't naturally super duper cold. So well done if you said 37. The second question was, in which season are the nights much longer than the days? Again, it sounds really, really tricky, but when you think about it, it's fairly easy to work out. Was it A, summer, B, 
winter or C, spring. A drum roll, all right, let's. The answer was B, winter, of course they are. The nights and the days feel so much longer in winter. But well done if you knew that answer. Right, the last question for me, Mr. Duncan, is which sport uses a racket, a net, and a shuttlecock? Drum roll again. It was C, badminton. Well done if you got that answer in. Some of you might have been thinking tennis, and tennis does have a net. It does have a racket, but it doesn't have a shuttlecock. So, well done if you said C, badminton. Well done. Right, today's challenge is one for you to think about. I would like you possibly to go back over the previous Mr. Duncan workouts. I would like you just to think about what was your favourite challenge, what challenge did you really enjoy doing, what challenge were you able to complete, and then I want to see, can you do even better at it? It might have been our press-up challenge, it might have been our squat challenge, it might have been our plank challenge. We've done so many over these weeks, but I want you to give it a go once more and see whether you're able to do better than you were able to do the very first time we did it. Right, thank you once more for joining me. I enjoyed the support, the help over these very, very tough months and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye now.